Okay, so Telegram. This was the one place that I thought, you know, finally we're going to have a place, you know, a sanctuary free of censorship. Um, I was really happy that that Pavel Durov guy, you know, he's he's brought this about. Um, he's the guy behind VK as well. Um, so obviously he's he's got a good history of you know fighting the big tech companies. But um, yeah, so today I dared to ask because I found out that. Uh, Pavel is actually a member of the World Economic Forum, which doesn't really gel with his kind of anti-censorship, anti-establishment stance. So, yeah, I mean, I asked in the Durov chat about that. Um, didn't really get an answer. I had a couple of people also agreeing it's a bit worrying. And, uh, yeah, um, basically, that's the only thing I've said or done controversial um, the only other chats I've been in have been completely normal discourse. Um, I've even been getting into fairly polite conversation with right wingers, not something that I used to get on Twitter. Um, and, you know, the only other group I was in was a political discourse chat where I was actually the one doing the admin work. Like the admins weren't even picking up on it and I was picking up on all the spam links and everything like that. Um, and there was other people in there saying I should be admin. So, yeah, the only thing I can think of that would be controversial would be asking about the World Economic Forum. And just to get to the point, I've been restricted from posting in public groups. I've been restricted from messaging anyone that's not a mutual contact. Um, this kind of stuff is reserved for those who send spam links, those who send unsolicited pics, those who are constantly creeping on people. Uh, there's a little spam bot here for you to kind of try and find out why that's happened. Um, the spam bot just said the same stuff to me that it would have said to all those people that I'm, I've been sending unsolicited messages and that, you know, that people have been reporting me, but that's bollocks. I've actually done no unsolicited messages of the sort. I avoid that shit. I, d I don't want to be talking to random people. I even had a random person trying to voice chat me earlier and, and call me over telegram that I had to keep, you know, uh, declining and then I eventually had to block the guy so I'm not even part of that whole culture so this just tells me that telegram is also not safe from censorship um the fact that you know just questioning the the owner of telegram and his connections with things can get you limited yeah so yeah I'm really really not happy with this I honestly think it's been compromised I've I've heard rumors here there and everywhere that they had but this has sort of confirmed it for me. So, you know, I'd say we need to find a new place, but every single time we do, it's just going to keep fucking happening. I'm fucking sick of it. You know, I, I, I'm i defeated. I'm, I'm at the point now where I really, really can't be fucked to just keep searching out new social media and new messaging apps. It's, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. I think... It's time that we just start making our own little networks on our own little things. I don't even know how. Um, but yeah, I'm fucking done.